Hello everyone and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. It has been a while since I uploaded, which is kind of funky because I upload every single day, but if you have not saw or kept up with anything, here's my my foot! Oh. Okay, that's as much as I can bend, but um, I did have toe surgery. I'm gonna have to get it on my other toe for ingrown toenails, but um, anyway, we're back now, so if my schedule is a little like funky <laughs> for a while um it's gonna probably be a month for recovery because i have to wait another two weeks to get my other Christ. one done they want the first one to heal up so yeah if you see some content funkiness that is why but today we're going to get back into honkai let's see what we gotta do today okay down here uh, oh it's here we found it Thank you, Perkins. What did we find? Warning. Warning. Danger detected. I mean no harm. Protect, Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. She... She's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. Yeah. This place is dangerous. You should leave. I'm looking for medicine to help the in injured. Shouldn't you be the one leaving, Missy? <laughs> oh, I came here for these painkillers, too. There are a lot of people hurt at the vagrant camp. I guess the miners are no different. <sighs> if everyone could just get along, things would be easier. Mm. Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help to you. Is Farag here too? No. Mr. Svarag, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Svarag when I was real little. He took me in and took care of me. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Svarag doesn't trust any humans besides me, especially everyone from Wildfire. Why did Svarag attack us? Mr. Svarag doesn't want to hurt people, but he always follows the calculations of his analysis. He thinks that interaction with humans is... inefficient. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground, but Mr. Svarog wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, the overground is already unsafe. But the underground is safer. Yes. At least according to Mr. Svarog's calculations. He says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. Oh, I didn't get a chance to read it. I clicked it. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarog, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarog won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarog. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sila from Wildfire. I came here to... You and Clara tell Sila and Branya what you just discussed. Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go around running errands for them? N no, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp, so I wanted to help them out. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then, can you give me some? The vagrant's injuries are quite serious. <sighs> I see. Let's split these painkillers then. Really? We don't need to ask Miss Natasha first? If I know Nat, she won't mind. 
Although, this will make it more difficult for us. She'll understand. She always does. Great. Thank you, Miss Eula. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll accompany you part of the way. It, it's fine. I have Perkins for company. And I have some more things I need to look for here first. <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though. Mm -hmm. Be careful, though. Meet up with Sila and the others. So, I guess I go through here. Controller. Let me in. Right? No, wrong way. Where am I going? Oh, oh, oh. Where am I going? Oh, hey. Metal plates and bandages. Rubbing alcohol. Painkillers. Great. That's everything. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. Okay. Level 20. Why is it flashing like that? Oh my god. Nat! We're back. <laughs> That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just, there are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? We shared some with Clara. Uh, Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. I'd nearly forgotten about those so two. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. <laughs> You're adorable, Branya. She was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Okay, let's talk to Oleg. Uh, hey, they're finally back! Sorry for the unannounced disappearance. <laughs> That's nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. <sighs> and that something to be proud of? <laughs> uh, it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kokolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian... All I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. Why does it always come up when I click my finger on it? Oh my gosh. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means, but if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarog, without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice, and I don't want to risk underworld lives. 
But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Sparrock. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. And what about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Well, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarag. You're not coming? Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. Okay, let's go talk to Hook. Looks like Hook is going to be our guide, I guess. Hook? You. This I really wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's want? been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friend. Okay. By order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialties in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No. But I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Uh, Oleg hey, is trusting you, you. You guys wouldn't have even gotten to know Wildfire without my help, right? He's my legacy right. will prove that Sempo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Oh, enough! Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already! Great! Stay close. Stay close. Alright, where are we going? Doctors of oh, Chaos. Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every- This is Svarog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do see the chest over there. I'm not getting like side items like <laughs> this stuff on the walkthrough. I'll get it in my own time. Gate. Uh, okay, watch this. Open sesame. Did you really just say that? Is that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Help us pry open whoa, the gate. Whoa. Pry it open? In front of all these vagrants and robots? They have eyes, you know. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. 
A certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walk-in stoplights first. Not a clue! What's the test? <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It's the Feels robots. Like the people okay. here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't... This has to be one of them, right? It looks so... lame. Is it even awake in there? Art. Maybe it's broken down. Beep, <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Infernal construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? I'm gonna answer. take a guess. Certification okay. results. <laughs> failure. Uh, you know, friends, if you don't know the answer, you don't have to pretend you do. No one's gonna laugh at you. Reassessing. You have to pretend I do. Subject threat index. Hi. Initializing combat module. Threat elimination activated. Uh, combat module? Can I module? just beat him up? This thing's faulty, right? Wishful thinking. It's about to attack. It attacks. Make it easy on me. You beat it up. So much easier if I just fight them than answer questions. Not gonna lie. Oh my god, that one like daily commission, I guess it's called daily mission. Not commission, but mission. This game where you have to like do math is ridiculous. I cannot do it. <laughs> Phew. Just that cannot was do scary. it. It just suddenly attacked. Hmm. This button says system reset. Let's give it a try. System reset. Successful. Certification sequence. Online. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the uh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow! So this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Mm hmm Okay. We got one thing. Time to get another thing. Hello, bot. Beep bop. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. Huh? Robot what is this sentient? Bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's mm -hmm. get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look! Yeah, okay. yeah, whatever. So here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. 
A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? Huh? Lucky guess. Ugh, I'm now lucky. I have to do this again. Put your hand out. What are you doing? I hand meant out. her. Give me your hand. Oh, huh? Why does it have to be March? Me again? It hurts, you know. Uh, ow. Good. There, one step left. Now get out of here and leave me in peace. Me. Me as a robot. Okay, well that's one. Where are you at? Whatever the case, Beepo. we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm, there's something wrong with this one. Protocol. Inish, nish, 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 nish. Ish. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Oh. Not encouraging. Ooh. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Threat elimination He's activated. Initializing combat module. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. This rust bucket's about to meet its maker. <laughs> Oh my god. They always play. just want to fight, don't they? Ready oh my god, yourself? I have to actually battle. Wow. So rude. It's okay, it's pretty easy. I'm not gonna use my ult on that. <laughs> Learn how to behave Give now. Me. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. <sighs> Why is it always me? Ah, ah, ah. How come it hurt even more than the other two? <laughs> At least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Sparog's certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. All right. Looks like we can get in now. See, how do I get out of here? This way. And this way. Open, Open up. Sesame. Open sesame. See, I didn't know she was gonna so say that. Having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll commend you to the chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, <laughs> let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said? Nope. No one heard what you just said. A gate? Running, running, running. Oh. <laughs> Why is there another gate here? Why is there it so looks much dialogue? Like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Uh, huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. This isn't the first time. Oh, hello. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Svarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Careful, this one might have a few tricks up its sleeve. Are we gonna smash this one too? <laughs> oh, count me in. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Ms. Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? She's Sparrow's family. family. Or owner, I guess. Did I you really know. forget? Family. Weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. 
We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? But we were just there. <sighs> Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Um, it wasn't as fun as you think. We should go find... Go and find Clara. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Okay, so we have to go back and then come back, which is always oh, so is fun. This is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. All the way over here. Oops. Run. No. 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 Can't get me. Uh -huh. Okay, what am I supposed to be looking for? You? Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop. Target must be eliminated. Oh, wait. Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. Okay, well, let's run. Where's this workshop at? Go ahead and teleport and make it easier. Turn around. Oh, there she is. Just as we feared, there's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. We have to save her. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. <laughs> numerical advantage. Oh. Go ahead and use our ult. I don't think we can actually use the fast play. Nope. Well, that's fine. Do this the hard way. Almost got his shield off, which is great. Rules are made to be broken. Beat him up. Beat him up. There we go. A one-time enemy. Strike with heart. Let's go. Yeah. Beat him up. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Beat Keep him up. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? You can song. fight it. Or rock with it. <laughs> Pretty easy. Hey, Clara. Are you okay, Clara? Clara? Say your name right. Hurt? Thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. Speaking as Farag, we were just about to pay him a visit. Uh -huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. 
No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Sparrow doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you- <sighs> Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know, Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarag thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the Underworlders away from the source of the disaster, so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous! What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? See it as return the favor, Clara. I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara, What's she running. It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid! So young and yet so... stubborn? No, intelligent? She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. Is there any other if way? If we circumvent Clara and the gate, Svarag will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Mm, isn't a robot shoulder cold to begin with? Clara mentioned Svarag's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So... You think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. We're the new variable. <laughs> Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? <sighs> There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. Mm. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. Right. It's gonna teleport right there, I guess. Wow. Looks like we're getting close to Svarog finally. She turned that way! Quick! Or not. The girl just keeps running. My goodness. She's a runner and she's a track star. Come here, kid. Come here. Where you at? I get you. Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this way. <sighs> we'll just have to head straight and keep looking. 
This way? I'm guessing this way. Maybe not. Oh, oh, eh, eh, eh. You don't see me. You don't see me. Which way do you want me to go? This is not straight. Shift the balance. Here. I didn't mean to use the thingy. Oh my god. These dumb controls. I turn on my fast battle. You love to see it. No hands. Honestly, that's something that I do like compared to Genshin more. Because that way I can do like artifact runs and stuff and I don't have to pay too much attention. Honestly, pretty nice. Fight. Rules are made to be broken. Smack him up. Smack him up. Nice. Get out of here. Get out of here, robots. Victory Flare by up. the blade. I'm gonna get you. Come here. I'm gonna get you. Hmm. Why won't it? Ah. I can't figure it out. Mm hmm. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. We couldn't give up that you easily. You keep saying that, but. Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damage components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was... Accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. Was it really an accident? You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two. Give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. All right, let's Can repair we really it. Fix this? Relax. We got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we can do here. Pretty easy. Whoa! It lit up! Thanks, guys! <laughs> no need. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... We're not trying to win you over on the issue of Sparug. But we kind of are. Understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we going to convince her? Point out the variable. The variable is... Uh, our arrival! No outsiders set foot in the underground for over a decade! Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well... Uh... You do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It 
was a long time ago, the same time the underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Sparog's calculation? Not to mention we're... We're not even from this planet. There's just no way that Sparog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. I don't. They're not made up. Hey, she and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? You've already seen our ability. Many choices. I... Uh, okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarog. Really? Awesome! Mm, I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick. Losing their homes and fighting, just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Sparog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. It's about time. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us going. like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly... You know what? I can teleport, can I? <laughs> yeah. Felt. Sorry, I cut dialogue, but y'all talk too much. Let me in. I'm back, Let me Timmy. In. Welcome Timmy. back, Miss Clara. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Svarog. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, Hi. if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? Let's go and see Sarabog. Let me in. Hey. I'm back, Mr. Sparog. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Sparog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. We're not interesting in a stoking conflict? You seek peace. Understood. Nevertheless, your statement is unilateral. My position will be determined after assessing the result of our negotiation. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Do you know what a Stellaron is? Stellaron. Searching database. 
Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron, but it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. We must find the Stellaron and then... Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the Architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target Threat Index Critical. Uh, what should well. we do? This is going from bad to worse. Your powers of calculation suck. Target hostility significantly exceeds base index. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparog, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. <sighs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring Automaton Svara. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Okay, shut up, big old trash can. You're just a walking, talking trash can with a pink eyeball. I don't want to hear it. Okay. Ready Bro. to lose yourself? You can fight it. With it. From what I remember, he hits pretty hard. So I'm gonna try to be pretty careful with him. With heal, serve all. Ready to jam. Oh my god, he just really wants to hurt us. I'm gonna go ahead and heal actually. Ready to jam. Sword play. Strike with heart. Let's go. Let me tend your wounds. Fight me. Ready to jam. And we're lost health again. Hello. How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? All of you, stay focused. That's where I'm you right went. behind you. Nat, uh, how did you? Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo, <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Okay, come on, trash can. Let's get back to our fight. Come on, trash can. We're just gonna use all of our stuff. Descend. Ready to lose yourself? Get him. Got three five stars on this team. I ain't losing. Not today. There ain't no way. Unless there is a way. That. Help me improve! <laughs> this song's for you! Turn it up! Need a doctor? <laughs> yeah! Reinforce it. Okay. Evaluating variables. Of course you're gonna take my healer. Let's make it quick. Huh. That's it. Ready to lose your son, you can fight. Always take my healers, and that's the characters I need the most. Not fun. Okay, here we go. Much better. Get my healer back. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. More than that. Rules are made to be broken. Oh, maybe I should have done a double hit. Time for 
sword course. Strike the park. Practice is over. Swords descend. I really like his ult. Very neat. Okay, let's get him with the ult. There we go. Pretty easy. Pretty easy with my three five stars. Was she angry? You made her angry. Clara! You... Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please! Please don't hurt him! That's what he gets for being a trash can. Bruh. Mr. Sparrow, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Sparrow. You said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like... Like family. Wait a minute, why did you guys tell me that my lights went off? This is a recording, not a stream. Wait. Immersion break. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable one, Clara's request. Variable two, outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... So we did it? Thanks to Clara. Yeah, without her, even if we defeated Sparog, there's no way he'd have given us access to the intel, right? I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. What's up? Nervous? No. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. The truth can be heartbreaking. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Halfway to the Wizard of Oz. I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Let's Requesting have it. database materials cache, serial number 13175, encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so called Stellaron is the source. All the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. 
You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless... Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. This supreme guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. All the decisions are for the security of Malabarg. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. Uh, when you find a way to... Destroy. <laughs> Destroy the it's Stellar. Done. Our efforts will have been worth it. Cash number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cash number 57614. This is. Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day. Somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cash number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data. So, the truth is clear now. Re <sighs> they were looking for a way to destroy the Stellaron. I don't quite understand. And no, it I would understand. appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just... I feel a little faint. It must be a lot to take Why? In. Why, Mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. Hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Natasha. The furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Thank you. 
What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Your support came at the right moment. Well, Thank you. you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. Any chance of a more tangible show of things? Have Wildfire's full support. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the Furnace Core, there's no way that we Undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the Underground. If she detects any change in the Underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. It'll be difficult for us to defeat the Guardian alone. Of course, alone. there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. She got a big You're shot. Right. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. All right. A card. Very nice. Or light cone, I guess. Okay, where is this? Let's go back to the hotel. Equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. Yes. I think this is the, the equilibrium the quest. Okay, I'm gonna skip through this. Equilibrium. Yes, I know what the equilibrium quest is. Well, I'm not doing that right now. But here we go. Now that we're done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. It is what it is. Sparog attacked us you first. You tried your best to persuade him. It's my fault for not preparing better for such a situation in advance. For you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. But we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance, where's the Stellaron? Exactly. We don't even have the Stellaron's coordinates and location. Kokolia's sudden change in attitude is also very curious. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Actually, I've been having dreams. some dreams. Oh, I remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. Telling Don Han in March 7 about the voices you've heard in your recent dreams. Hmm. All three dreams were the same. With Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. 
I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random, if there's some meaning behind them. Hmm. Maybe you're having them because... Because of the Stellaron inside her? That's my hunch, but I have no proof. <sighs> well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Cocolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Okay. Return to the Goth Hotel. Gertie. Okay, well, I guess she's not gonna talk to us. Let me sleep. You're back! I've heard from Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing! It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest. I suppose it would be good to get some sleep. Okay. We'll go to bed in the next episode and rest up then. So yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here if I could get a good, good end screen. Okay, yeah, you stay right there. Okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about Svarog, Clara, the Stellaron. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!